Hi everyone, in this video we're going to integrate the cotangent of x with respect to x. This is a nice problem because once you know how to do it, you can basically think about it and come up with the answer in your head and essentially memorize the cotangent integral. So the solution. Start by writing it down again. So we have the integral of the cotangent of x dx. And cotangent is cosine over sine. So in our first step, we're going to rewrite it. So this is the integral of cosine x over sine x. And here we have our dx. And now we're going to make a substitution. We're going to let u be the denominator. So we're going to set u equal to the sine of x. We can differentiate both sides of this equation. So on the left hand side we get du. And then the derivative of sine is cosine, so this is cosine x dx. All right, so now we're in a really good place. So because cosine x dx is exactly what we have here, it's du. This is equal to the integral of du over and then sine x, which is u. And this is a special integral. There's a formula that tells us that this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant of integration and u is sine x so this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of sine x and plus our constant of integration capital C and that would be the answer so if you know how to do this problem you, you tell yourself okay cotangent is cosine over sine you let u be sine your du is cosine x dx, you're going to get du over u. That's going to give you the natural log of the absolute value of u, which is the natural log of the absolute value of sine. And eventually, once you really understand this, you can basically do it in your head or think about it, or at least know the first step. If you know the first step, then you say, oh, okay, cosine over sine, that's going to give me an ln absolute value sine. So you end up essentially memorizing the procedure, or at least part of it, and so it's a nice way to remember the integral of cotangent because this is often a formula that's given in books. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Good luck.